All right, everybody, you guys know what time it is. It's Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll give you a second. And also, huge announcement for all my Roblox fans out there. Listen, if you're a Sonic fan and you don't like Roblox, you don't have to listen to this. But if you are a Roblox fan, subscribe to me and my brother's channel, The Blox Bros. We will be giving out Robux. We'll be doing anything. Go watch our last video right now, and maybe we'll pick a winner from the comments to win some Robux on our last video right here. Us playing Blade Ball. With that being said, let's get into it, and let's check out the brand new update. Here we go, everyone. What do we got? Ah, yo. Yo, yo, dude, I love this skin. I don't care what anyone says, dude. I love this skin. I think this is actually one of the coolest skins they've ever made in SSS. And we have um, Easter Cream. I think she's from SFSB as well. Is she not from Sonic Forces Speed Battle also? She's cool, but yo, Buddy Sonic Drip Gang. Yo, my boy is elite, bro. He is dripped out. All right, so to get the cool, we have to collect Easter eggs in Green Hill, Lost Valley, Emerald Hill, Cyber Station, and Metal City Skate Park. Wow. Um, what's for sale? 50% off a bunch of skins over here. Classics for sale. Tails. Oh, Easter Amy. She's actually kind of drippy, too. Forgot she was even in the game. Uh, yeah, lots of good skins for sale. With that being said, let's get into it. So we have to collect Easter eggs in Green Hill. Is it simply just run around the map? Let me see. Hold on, let me see. Oh, this is going to be... E Yo, to unlock the Easter Sonic is actually going to be really easy. Again, you could just auto-run it for Green Hill if you want, but we're, we're trying to go fast. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is just do like a quick little loop around the map. We're going to do our quick, you know, usual route. How is Easter Cream harder to unlock than the Easter Sonic skin? The Easter Sonic skin is actually like so fire. But that's okay. I like it. It's an Easter egg hunt for Easter. That is... Uh, and it's a good old-fashioned scavenger hunt. I'm not even like... A scavenger hunt hater, bro. I swear, I'm actually not. We have to collect 10,000 Easter eggs for cream. So, um, it looks like they can be collected in any world as well. So, I think we've already... We've almost... We've almost done it already. Yo, we've almost done it already. Look at that. Boom. All right, we did all the, we did all the Green Hill ones. Now we go to Lost Valley. And then for those of you who are completely new to the game, Lost Valley is right here. It's for those of you who, who, who have just... This is your first weekend playing. All right, now we have made it to Lost Valley. Actually, I really do like this update because it really makes you appreciate all the worlds that we have. I think this is actually... This is a good update to help keep players immersed. It's like you're not trapped just like spamming Green Hill. You actually have to go to the other worlds. I actually really enjoy this a lot because... This game really has some incredible, incredible map design. Like, the level designers in this game do a really good job. You know, obviously the game feels really smooth and good to play as well. But it really allows us to go back into some of those older worlds that we used to spend so much time in. You know, the game, like I said, it's been, it's, the game's come a long way. Guys, starting next month, April, we're approaching the two-year anniversary for, like, the official release of the game. For, like, the public release. We've come a really long way, man. I mean, seriously, in two years. It's, it's been a wild ride together, everyone. So, you know, coming into some of these older worlds doing a scavenger hunt really does make me it really does remind me of the good old days and you know when we first started playing because listen we, we've grown a lot over these years and it, it wouldn't be without it wouldn't be without this so yeah let's just run around the world real quick i have my event chow so i'm actually doing it a lot easier if you guys need help with event chow you can also get them in cyber cyber station I'll, I'll explain it to you once we go to cyber station for those of you who don't have an event chow we're gonna collect all of our eggs and we did it so we're gonna move on to the next world and what is the next world all right now we are in emerald hill and same principle still applies. Usually it's it's the checkered path or not checkered. I don't know what pattern this is. It's usually the paths that are the best places to find the eggs or any points of interest or anything like that. I remember we had to play Robux for SSS. It was so fun back then. Yeah, it was yeah. I'm when it, when I first played this game, I was so I was like I was hooked. I was like, this game is so addicting. Like it's crazy. I mean I still I think it's more fun now in terms of like activities and stuff and honestly level design. I mean, look at the map design in this game. It, it definitely looks better. I think it definitely looks better. Uh, I think it plays better. It feels, you know, everything about the game feels better. But there's one thing about when the game first released. It was the feeling of the unknown and kind of like the untapped potential. It's like, we never know what we're going to get. We used to always speculate the most crazy things. So I think, you know, the when something's new and fresh, you know, obviously you're more prone to liking something and you have some nostalgia and stuff like that. I like the, I do think the game is better now, but I think the feeling of the unknown and not really knowing what was going to come next and everything was just like such a crazy surprise. 
I think that's where people really loved SSS 1.0. And that's what, what, like, when they say that, it's better. I think that's what they meant. Because I, I don't think the game is better now. I think it's better. Or, I'm sorry. I don't think the game was better then as a whole complete package. I think it's definitely better now. I know what you mean, though. The nostalgia, when this game first came out, it was directly after Sonic Movie 2. And that was a great time for the Sonic community and just, like, being a Sonic tuber. It was all, it was great. Like, seeing that movie in theaters, seeing Sonic rise up to being the number one video game movie of all, basically all time until Mario came around, like, that was a big deal. And then, literally, we're, we're all riding the high of Sonic Movie 2. They just drop SSS. And it's like 300,000 people are playing. It was just so crazy. It was such a crazy time. And this was also a time, mind you, when the original Sonic Speed Simulator came out. It had, like, adventure physics and controls, which a lot of people would debate about whether they liked adventure controls, boost controls, whatever the case may be. So it was like a return to that, like, classic style of gameplay that everyone loves in an open world with frontiers looming it was it was such a crazy time so it was really the stars sun and the moon aligned for just like a perfect era it really was great so yeah i mean two years man two years is coming up maybe i'll do a video like reflecting on the two years of sss i've, I've kind of just spoiled it but the official anniversary but we're almost collected all these eggs and you guys kind of see what it is it's just like run around go to the pois like you know what i'm saying you see stuff that's significant you go over there and it looks like we have completed that challenge and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one all right, here we go. We're in Cyber Station now. How many eggs do we need from here? Quick heads up for all my Cyber Station people out there. If you head over to the Friends Machine over here in Cyber Station for 250 million rings a pop, you have a 12.6% chance to get a Red Hero Chow, which will give you the event stat. Farm a bunch of these, go and fuse them in this machine over here, and then you will be good with your event chows. Well, also, I, I would like to point out, I'm playing as uh, Classic Sonic, but... If you want to do this event as fast as possible, if you have a supersonic skin, you see my boy right here, he's dripped out. You definitely got to switch over to supersonic. I think that goes without saying. Not everyone has him. Not everyone has event chow either, but we have to get 1250. I, like I said, I really like the classic scavenger hunt that's forcing us to go to every world. I think with every update, here's my pitch to the devs. I think to make every update feel f like fresh and fun, there should be objectives to go into every single world. I, I, I like, I'll just say it right here. There's a lot of worlds in the game. I feel like when I play the game, I don't even go to the other worlds that much. I, I almost just like forget about them. It's always like, all right, the new world, you know, you do whatever in whatever the newest world is. And then there's the green hill meta, like just spam green hill or whatever. But I think like the idea that we have to do like challenges and objectives in different worlds, I think it breathes some, some life into some of, you know, the vast amount of like work that the devs put into some of these, these different worlds you know maybe next week pick three five random worlds speed jungle no place whatever and do random challenges or things there I, I don't know i think that would that would help keep it a little bit more fresh in terms of like keeping the updates even if it's like a regular update like this which is just a scavenger hunt which we don't really even get that much you know throw some of these in there because this is it feels like a breath of fresh air even though it's really not it's literally just a scavenger hunt but just changing up the scenery is nice so i do it you know i'm i'm for that and look how much look how fast i'm doing this by the way with supersonic and magnet too i'm, I'm kind of pay i'm kind of paying to win right now i'm also lagging too i'm starting a sonic youtube channel i would like for you to have something to say about it or wish me luck hey listen man good luck good luck i would just say i hope you uh find what you want to do man find what you want to do and, and perfect it you know whatever style of content it is there's a lot of different styles of content for sonic youtube it's not just um you know there's video essays there's news there's those are like kind of the two main ones but there's also challenge gameplay challenges not not a lot of people do that though um I, I, like almost next to no one does like actual no one next to no one actually plays the sonic games for videos except for me of course but there's sss there's, there's a lot of things you could do so try to find something that you want to do and just do it yo thank you the beard for timing this guy out that was crazy thank you i'm back sorry my wi-fi lagged out hey it's all good bro all right, here we go. Are we, have we, have we completed this event? Let's see. We are, all right, we're about to be done with this one. We're about to be done. We're about to be done. And I, I think we are. Yeah, we're done. All right, all we have to do is go to Metal City Skate Park and we're done, guys. Bro, oh my God, what is this? This is the best Mario avatar I've ever seen. And he has Cappy, dude, what? Bro, that's like basically, yo, that's sick. Mario is coming to Sonic Speed Simulator confirmed, bro. Dude, how do I make my avatar look like yours? That's actually a really good Mario. Dude, yo, can you stop? Can you, can, hey, you. You! Can you stop? Yeah, so we're in Metal City, and I guess we can just boost around. Honestly, if you haven't done your Metal City challenges, this would actually be a really good time to... Uh, oh, this thing's still closed. Still closed over here, guys. You know what's crazy, though? Is that we can still access it, and there's apparently Easter eggs for there. That's interesting. So yeah, we're gonna go into Metal City next for the final part of the objective, and I think we should, I think we should have an easy time doing this. Mario at the Olympic events? Yeah, basically. I just clipped through the map. Okay, I died. Any tips for different Sonic content? I don't really know. I think I guess the best thing I could I could suggest to you is maybe try to do like a video essay or something. Those seems to be like easy view hacks. Like just do video essay. 
few video essay and then you know YouTube will push it to people. It's like it's like the meta for like building, trying to build a, uh, a viral YouTube video. Just do a video essay. I do them sometimes, but it's too much work. Sometimes, not not really. It's not it's not that much. But people hating on me supporting your channel, I guess it's their jealousy. Yo, tell them to kick rocks, bro. All right, so we're trying to get the uh, the Easter eggs here in Metal City Skate Park. I think that I guess my best tactic is, is right now playing a Supersonic. Again, I, I like to stick to the pass usually, but also I think there's going to be some good areas up here too. Like if you hit this area, am I going to make it up here? Is there any up here? Yeah, there's some eggs up here too. So yeah, Supersonic is definitely the meta for this, 100%. I wouldn't do SSS in my Sonic channel. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing SSS. Um... I think mean, if you want to, you can. The only problem is if you want to be a Sonic channel, you're going to have a tough time translating your audience. Which I, I was able to do, but it took a lot of work. It took a lot, a lot, a lot of work to actually gain the Sonic audience when I started spamming SSS. But also, I think a lot of a lot of the Roblox players have kind of filtered out, and it's more. It, there's definitely more Sonic fans that play SSS now than how it used to be like maybe two years ago. That's also different, but it depends up to you unless you really like it. But also, if you want to do Variety Sonic, you might want to mix it into your content. We've done everything. I, I'm, I'm right there. Oh, we're going to go up here, too. This is going to be some free eggs over here. This grind rail, free eggs without even having to move. Oh, this takes you... Oh, yeah. Guys, make sure you're hitting this grind rail and spamming it. For sure. Oh, my God. Free, free everything. Free everything right there. Dude, that was so many eggs for free without having to do much. I love to see it. I love to see it. You love to see it. Oh my god, where do we go? There's not enough eggs to keep up with how fast I am for this world. The way, I, the way I'm just like zooming around this world should be studied. Cheese gives event. Oh, cheese. I know cheese is a uh, fast friend. Where do, you, where do you get cheese from? I guess we'll, we'll have to showcase cheese in a little bit. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the event. You know, we're, we're, we're right there. We just got to unlock cream now. All right, guys. It's time to go test out this skin. What is this? Uh, Hello? What is going on over here? Bro, why is Mario and Big the Cats teamed up to guard the Green Hill portal? Guys, I need to get in here. I, listen, guys, listen, listen, guys. Join us for free froggies. I am the angler big leader. Bro, what is going on here? Bro, let me, yo, let me through. Yo, let me through. No one shall pass. Join and you can pass. Guys, I need to get the Green Hill. Guys, what should I do? Should I join? Should I join the gang? Join so you can pass. All right, guys, I did it. I'm in. I'm in. You will perish. Why does the guy say I'm going to perish? What the hell? All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. Well, guys, we got all the skins, and we have to showcase the new... Oh, my God. This guy is... Oh, my... Yo, I love this skin. And he has a green boosting aura. Here's the new Easter Sonic, bro. Dude. He's kind of drip. Yo, I'm not going to lie. This might be my favorite skin in the game right now. <laughs> hey. Yo. Nah, look at him and... Go yo. He's cool, dude. He's got... There's some cool details. His gloves got some, some cool stuff. Wow. He's got a little Easter rabbit, yo. Dude. Let's see him go in action. I actually really... Yo, and his little bunny ears when he does a spin dash. That's crazy, bro. As you look on the hoverboard. How does he look? Yo, he's yo, he's dripped out. I'm not gonna lie, dude. He's cool. He's cool. He's definitely cool, bro. All right, we gotta check out the uh, Cream the Rabbit skin, too. All right, here we go. We got Easter Cream. Here's Cream the Rabbit. I mean, she's cool, but... Yo, what? The, yo, this Mario is like, what the? Yo, this guy, this guy is the one that conspired against me. I swear. All right, here we go. Here's Cream the Rabbit. Here she is, guys. She's cool for sure. Definitely cool. Um, let's run with her. Let's let's do a little spin dash, dude. That Easter Sonic though, that's my guy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure she's an SFSB Sonic Forces speed battle as well. But yo, also if you play as Cream the Rabbit, Cheese actually sits right next to her, even though you have other Chows. He has, like, his own position as the main chow. That's actually really cool. That's actually, like, right there. That, that Like, that's a myth right there. But it's also confirmed. Look at that. That's actually sick. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's so cool. Again, the devs, when it comes to attention to detail, the devs, they always cook. They always cook. Look at that. Love to see that. Very cool. All right, let me know what you guys think about the update.